Okay, so today's video is actually going to be kind of a challenge video that we're both doing. Technically, only I have to do it, but he's going to participate with me because we're either going to suffer or enjoy things together. So right now, we're going to be heading to a conveni, also known as a convenience store. And all day today, that's all we're allowed to eat, food that we buy from there. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, let's go. Okay, so the first convenience store of today is actually going to be Lawson. Lawson. First of all, we haven't been there yet. Second of all, we're doing all three of the famous ones today. So it'll be Lawson, then the next one will either be Family Mart or 7-Eleven, and the last one will be whatever we didn't do. So let's see what they got here, and it's actually just around the corner, right? Uh, next corner. Oh, next corner. My bad, guys. My bad. And here we are. Okay guys, so now it's the hard part is choosing what I actually want to eat for breakfast. I'm not extremely hungry, so I want to try to go for something light, but I don't want to have rice balls again because I had that last night, and I do want to have them throughout, maybe sometime in the middle throughout the day. So I'm going to choose something, and... Oh gosh, this is actually a hard choice, because all their food is actually really good. Okay, so I'm getting uh, I ended up getting a rice ball because there's fried chicken in it and a sandwich. I remember I still have the melon pond from yesterday and I have a Coke and a water at home. So I guess we're saving money in the morning. So uh, we'll see how this tastes, I hope. Oh. Um. Uh, oh, uh, can I get this one? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, please. Hi. ポイントカードをお持ちの方、お申し付けください。有料のレジ袋は必要でしょうか。はい、こちら。袋を入れますか、バッグ。あ、yes Okay, so uh, I just got my stuff at Lawson. I'll show you guys when we're eating soon, even though I kind of filmed in that situation. Shout out to that lady. As you guys can tell, like, knowing no Japanese here is not a problem. They're very polite and accommodating, which honestly, thank you so much. I apologize for not knowing the language. But I don't know if you guys can hear me because of the train. But here's what's going on. I'll be like the specific sandwich that's only available at 7-Eleven. So we need to stop by there real quick to get that. And then I'll show you guys what for breakfast. It's all right. That entire section. Bro, what the heck? They have more desserts here. All right, where's their sandwich? Right here. Like they literally have the sandwich just here. Apparently, like Family Mart didn't have it. 7-Eleven didn't. So, oh no, we aren't 7-Eleven. Lawson didn't. Bro, what the heck? Why does this low key look good? Oh my gosh. You know, maybe if we're doing 7-Eleven near the whole house, bro, I might pick this up. I mean, there are vending machines outside if you want to check that. I mean, I was, I was just gonna get like something sweet. Actually, no, we do have that water bottle. Yeah. Yeah. Hold up. Uh, are vending machines cheating? Yes. They are? Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, yeah. So nice, patient, and accommodating. I told yeah. you guys. You get, you get that whole interaction? Yeah. That was great. Yo, you so know what nice. else? I realized it looks like they accept cards there. They do. Wow. I don't know if it's maybe 7 Eleven because it's. Because um, we have it in the States, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's an international brand. But we could try uh, when we do, like, when we get like the rest. Yep. All right. So you heard them though. Vending machines are cheating, so it's literally convenience store or nothing. <laughs> just kidding guys, just kidding. I'm kidding, I promise. Okay guys, so we're back at the hotel. We're literally gonna eat breakfast. Again, I uh, we went to Lawson and he went to Lawson and 7-Eleven. So let me show you guys what I got and let me show you guys how much we paid. Because honestly, the prices here are actually really good. So, um, this onigiri, I said I wouldn't get like a rice ball, but look guys, guys, okay? Fried chicken. You guys see that? You guys see that? There's fried chicken in here. Like, was I supposed to say no? Second of all, I wanted to try one of their cooked foods because they had something else that was much bigger, but I was like, you know what? If I'm going to try something, it's going to be this, like, meat cutlet. So we're going to see how it just tastes. Shout out to the lady for, like, heating it up. They do heat up food here, so you can literally go there for, like, warm food. It's great. And I got this sandwich. It looks like one of them is a tuna sandwich and the other one's an egg sandwich. Honestly, back, again, 200 yen. Back in the States, I probably wouldn't have bought a sandwich from a convenience store, to be honest, but really here, we've already done it before, and honestly, it tastes great, it's fresh, and it doesn't feel, and uh, it's been like a day already, and none of us got stomach aches, so we 100% trusted it. So for um, the things I bought, it's only around 573 yen. But yeah, so basically, I didn't even spend $5 for my breakfast, but the thing is, I did have drinks here, so maybe if I added a drink, I would definitely have spent at least 6 or $7, but... Yeah, I still have the melon pond as well. I bought this like yesterday, so if I want dessert, I still have this thing. I still have yet to try, it's like Japanese sweet bread. But we're just gonna eat breakfast. Alvi just bought sandwiches, and what's the warm food you bought? Uh, uh, spicy beef, uh, meat bun. All right, time to eat breakfast, guys. It looks so adorable. What do you got, guys? That's what he got. And just beef curry on the inside. Okay, okay. All right, this is what I was excited for, so. Oh, look at that. Oh, so crispy. All right, let me, let me try it again. That was a good bite. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Mm. Maybe it's because I haven't had like fried food in a few days that like... It hits, yeah. Yeah, but at the same time, it's still like really good. And I really don't feel like it's going to kill me, so... I'm not gonna lie, bro, I extremely underestimated the size of this rice ball. Why is this thing so huge? I'm, I don't know if I can eat the sandwich, but I'm gonna, okay, hmm. Honestly, if I'm full after this, this can be for later, so. Honestly, I, even like Lawson's like regularly just rice balls, huge, but they don't have like that packaging where you rip apart. Do you notice that? I'm stupid, bro. That croquette, right? Uh-huh. She gave me sauce. All right, I might have to buy another one later <laughs> for dinner. Just so I can use that. So what did you eat in Japan? Convenience food. <laughs> All right guys, it's like 6 p.m. right now here in Japan and it's pretty busy right now, but I am finally going to have like a really late lunch or a very early dinner. Actually, I didn't eat too much today, but now I'm actually pretty hungry, so right now we're gonna go into 7-Eleven and we are going to get something to eat. I wanna get a bunch of hot food and a drink, so let's hope this works out. Oh, why is this place so crowded? What's going on? Is this like rush hour? Oh, they got some cool stuff here too. Uh, 
I uh, was supposed to get food, but I had no idea this whole place was here, I'm not gonna lie. I still have my melon pond at home, so I should probably eat that for dessert instead of buying something new. Don't know what this is, but it looks kind of good to be honest. Hi, uh... Yeah, one please. <laughs> あ、いいですか。あ、はい、はい、はい、はい。はい、はい、はい。はい、はい、はい。はい、はい、はい。はい、はい、はい。はい、はい、はい。はい、はい、はい。はい、はい、はい。はい、はい、はい。はい、はい
Or at least this one specifically. They probably have like. Yeah, there's like there's like multiple versions of like. Yeah. yeah. And All right, so it's yuzu and lemon soda. I've never tasted yuzu before, so. Uh, lemonade. I would say. Oh! Hold up! I actually like this. Wait. Lemonade. Or like uh, citrusy. Orange. I I don't know how to explain the taste, but it's like I just like it. Oh my gosh! But yeah, I don't know if like I'm gonna eat again because I still have that sandwich and this melon pond, so I don't know if I'm gonna go back out to a convenience store at all tonight. But I, I'm pretty sure this kind of showed. Yeah, you can pretty much like. Honestly, if you came to Japan and only had convenience store food, not only will you have, like, kind of fresh food, but, like, it's variety, too, so. You're not just limited to, like, you know. And, you know, go to other convenience stores, too, because they'll have, like, different options or same options but cooked differently. Dude, I just love Japan. Mmm. You guys know how many times you said that today? Bro. I lost count. I actually, like, what, I've been in this country for, like, two and a half days, right? Yeah. And like, I, oh my gosh, I was scared I was hyping this place up too much. Romanticize it a little too much. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No. I was actually scared I romanticized this country too much over the last three years, right? And I'm like... Oh, then when you actually came, like, you would be like... Yeah, and I would be disappointed, right? Okay, no, no, no. No, no, it like, it, it's like meeting my expectations or like, you know, going past that. All right, so that melon pond was really good. It's just basically sweet bread. The reason it's called melon bread is because the pattern on it kind of looks like a melon, I guess. So, yeah, but I don't know. If you guys are ever in Japan, I really do recommend these convenience store food just because they're so affordable, like extremely affordable. It's crazy, and they tasted pretty good. Like, that thing, oh my gosh, it was, it was actually really good. And um, I know it wasn't really the breakfast, lunch, and dinner format, but I feel like... I didn't even spend $10 each time I was there, and I still have extra food. Like, I have snacks, like, um, you know, like, Pocky, some chocolate over there, I have some candy, and I still have those sandwiches from earlier, so if I do get hungry later, or on all honesty, tomorrow morning, I'm probably just gonna have those, and I'm pretty sure they'll still taste great, so, yeah. Also, my favorite thing, um, just lemon soda. My second favorite thing, probably that thing I just ate, and the chicken, so, I don't know. I guess it was, this, this isn't really a challenge, yeah, it's just because the food actually just tasted good, it was really cheap, like, it wasn't really a challenge, even though I guess I'm gonna title it that, like that. But if you guys want to see more videos just like this, 100% let me know, I'm gonna try to do some crazy one-off videos while I'm here in Japan, so we're, we're gonna see what's up. But if you guys enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, and I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye!